Unit 7. System and Organs of the Human Body. 7A Reading. Pre-Reading. 1. What is more important in a person's life, health or wealth? Why do you think so? 2. What do you think the human body is made up of? 3. Is there any organ of the human body you know? What is it, slash are they? Read the passage. The human body is made up of systems and organs. A system is something that is made up of different parts, and these parts are interrelated and interdependent. The most widely known systems of the human body are, in the alphabetical order, circulatory, digestive, excretory, musculoskeletal, nervous, reproductive, and respiratory systems. An organ is a part of the human body that performs special functions. For instance, the eye is an organ to see, the ear is an organ to listen and hear, the nose is the organ to breathe and smell, etc. Some organs are vital for our survival. This means that when a vital organ stops functioning or working, we cannot live, we die. For example, if our heart stops functioning, we die. In the same way, if our brain stops functioning, we die. Some organs, on the other hand, are not vital. This means that if we lose such an organ, we do not die, we can still live without it. For instance, if we lose one hand in an accident, we do not die, we can still live without it. In the same way, if we lose an eye, we do not die, we can still live. In this lesson, we shall study three vital organs, the heart, the kidneys, and the liver. The heart. The human heart is shaped like an upside-down pear and is located in the center of the chest cavity slightly to the left. About the size of a closed fist, the heart is made primarily of muscle tissue that contracts rhythmically to propel blood to all parts of the body. This rhythmic contraction begins in the developing embryo about three weeks after conception and continues throughout an individual's life. The muscle rests only for a fraction of a second between beats. Over a typical lifespan of 76 years, the heart will beat nearly 2.8 billion times and move 169 million liters, 179 million quarts of blood. Furthermore, the heart is an unbelievably rugged organ with four chambers, each with a valve to keep the blood flowing in one direction. It handles approximately 5,000 gallons of blood a day to supply our circulatory system, which has blood vessels that have a total length of 12,000 miles. The Kidneys Every normal person is born with a pair of kidneys. They lie against the rear wall of the abdomen on either side of the spine. They are situated below the middle of the back, beneath the liver on the right and the spleen on the left. The concave part of each kidney is attached to two crucial blood vessels, the renal artery and the renal vein and the ureter, which is a tube-like structure that carries urine to the bladder. A primary function of kidneys is the removal of poisonous wastes from the blood. Chief among these wastes are the nitrogen-containing compounds urea and uric acid, which result from the breakdown of proteins and nucleic acids. Life-threatening illnesses occur when too many of these waste products accumulate in the bloodstream. Fortunately, a healthy kidney can easily rid the body of these substances. A very interesting 
thing to note about the kidneys is that they are among the most miraculous organs in the body. They contain a total of approximately 280 miles of tiny tubules whose function is to filter impurities from the blood. In the course of a day, they filter something like 185 quarts of water from the blood, purify it, and return it to the circulation. The waste products they pick up are concentrated in a daily three pints of urine. The liver. The liver is a dark red-brown organ with a soft, spongy texture. It is located at the top of the abdomen, on the right side of the body just below the diaphragm, which is a sheet of muscle tissue that separates the lungs from the abdominal organs. The lower part of the rib covers the liver, protecting it from injury. In a healthy adult, the liver weighs about 1.5 kilograms and is about 15 centimeters thick. Quite unlike the heart and the kidneys, the liver is simple in structure. It consists of two main lobes, left and right, which overlap lightly. Each lobe contains many thousands of units called lobules. They are the building blocks of the liver. A tiny vein runs through the center of each lobule and eventually drains into the hepatic vein, which carries blood out of the liver. On the outside surface of each lobule are small veins and arteries that carry fluids to and from the lobules. As the liver does its work, nutrients are collected, wastes are removed, and chemical substance are released into the body through these vessels. One of the liver's primarily functions is to store energy in the form of glycogen, the liver removes glucose from the blood when blood glucose levels are high. When the amount of glucose in the blood falls below the level required to meet the body's needs, the liver transforms glycogen into glucose. Another crucial function of the liver is the production of bile, a yellowish-brown liquid which is necessary for the digestion of fats. Bile leaves the liver through a network of ducts and is transported to the gallbladder, which concentrates the bile and releases it into the small intestine. The liver also stores vitamins B, D, E, and K. The li liver also functions as the body's chemical factory. Several important proteins found in the blood are produced in the liver. The liver also produces chemicals, which include fibrinogen and prothrombin. They help wounds to heal by enabling blood to form clots and cholesterol, a key component of cell membranes that transports fats in the bloodstream to body tissues. In addition, the liver helps clear toxic substances, such as drugs and alcohol, from the bloodstream. The liver is indeed a multifunctional organ of the human body. From just the description of only three vital organs of our body, it should be clear to all that our body is most marvelously and intricately built, and therefore deserves our utmost care to keep it fit at all times.